Hi everyone, in this reading we'll be delving into your person's inner emotions and perceptions of your relationship. We'll explore how they see you in the world and what is the current state of things between the two of you. By gaining insights into their thoughts and feelings you can better understand where they're coming from and how you can strengthen your connection. So let's dive in and see what the cards reveal. And we have the Three of Cups, Celebration and Community. The presence of the Three of Cups is suggesting that your person sees you as someone who, who brings joy and celebration into their life. They may view you as someone who's a vital part of their community and enjoys spending time with you in so social settings. Your person likely values the connection and the positive energy that you bring to their life and may see you as a key player in their circle of friends and loved ones. In terms of things between the two of you at the moment, this Three of Cups may be indicating that there's a sense of harmony and togetherness. You may be enjoying a period of close camaraderie and shared experiences, which is fostering a deeper sense of connection and understanding. This may be a time of celebration and enjoyment, and your person may be feeling grateful to have you in their life. However, it's important to note that the Three of Cups can also indicate a need for balance and boundaries in the relationship. Your person may see you as someone who is always ready to celebrate and have a good time, but may need to ensure that they are not relying too much, too heavily on you for emotional support or validation. It may be important to maintain a sense of individuality and independence within the relationship in order to ensure that both parties are able to thrive and grow. Overall, the, this card suggests that your person values your role in their life and appreciates the connection that you share. By maintaining a sense of balance and open communication with yourself first, always with yourself first, you can continue to build on this positive foundation and enjoy a fulfilling and mutually beneficial union and the second card is two of swords stalemate and indecision so there is also a state of indecision and stalemate it suggests that your person may be seeing you and the relationship in a way that is unclear or uncertain causing them to feel stuck or unable to move forward. They may be struggling to make a decision or may feel like they're at a crossroads in their lives and relationships. It's possible that you're personally feeling conflicted about the relationship and unsure of how to proceed. They may be questioning what's right for them or what they truly desire. What should they invest their time and energy into? The uncertainty could be causing them to feel guarded or distant towards you, as they may be hesitant to fully commit. Alternatively, it could be indicating that your person is experiencing external pressures or influences that are contributing to their indecision and feelings of being stuck. They may be receiving mixed signals from friends or family members or feeling pressure in other areas of their life that are causing them to not move forward. So yeah, they may be struggling and unclear in, about the, your relationship. But it's okay. This is where your work is right now. You can heal these feelings of uncertainty and doubt by bringing love to these uncertain places within yourself. The way they'll get clear is for you to get clear. Have patience and understanding as they work through their emotions and gain clarity on their feelings. And the third card. You see, this is what happens when you heal through the not so good feelings. We have the nine of cups. Satisfaction and wish fulfillment. This suggests that your person sees you as someone who brings them great joy and contentment. They likely feel fulfilled and happy in your presence and may see you as someone who can make dreams come true. Their dreams come true. Your person may feel like they have everything they need when they're with you and may see you as a source of happiness and fulfillment in their life. 
Although you're not their source any more than they are yours, the divine is the source of both your happiness. You may have to realign that with them when the time is right. But in terms of how they see things between the two of you at the moment, this card suggests the feeling positive and content with the relationship in this area. They may feel like things are going well and the relationship is fulfilling, the connection is fulfilling their needs and desires. They feel a very strong connection to you. It can also indicate that they're feeling a sense of pride and accomplishment about your connection. They may feel like they've achieved something significant by having this connection with you and may be very happy with the progress that this connection has made so far. They feel like all their dreams are coming true with you and may be satisfied with the direction that things are moving in. However, this can also indicate a sense of complacency or smugness. They may be feeling uh, like they're in, an, in a comfort zone. So not actually working to improve it. So where have you slipped into a comfort zone? Go into those uncomfortable feelings, move through them, and then you'll move into your wish fulfillment. And the final card is the Six of Wands, Success and Recognition. So this suggests your person sees you as a successful and accomplished individual. They view you as someone who has achieved recognition for your hard work and dedication. And they're proud to be associated with you. They see you as a natural leader who inspires and motivates others and admire your ability to overcome challenges and obstacles. They believe that you have what it takes to achieve great things in life and are excited to be by your side on this journey. Even if they're not right next to you just yet, you're still by one another's side. So in spite of moving through uncomfortable feelings, your person is still feeling optimistic and positive about the future with you. They believe that you have what it takes to overcome any obstacles that arise together and they're confident that your connection will only grow stronger over time. They may be feeling proud of this con amazing connection that you share and are excited to see where it will lead you both. But this can also indicate a need for caution they may be worried that their success or recognition may overshadow your own accomplishments, or they may be concerned that their own achievements may not be enough to keep you interested. They may be feeling a sense of pressure to maintain their current level of success, and this could be causing them stress or anxiety. It may be important for you to reassure them that you value their efforts and accomplishments and you're not interested in competing with them or trying to outshine them. Alternatively, it can indicate that your person may be feeling a little bit of discomfort towards your own success and recognition. They may be struggling to find their own sense of purpose or direction, or they may be feeling frustrated as a result. They may be feeling a sense of competition or comparison towards you, and this could be causing bad feelings. It's important to see if any bad feelings about not being enough are coming up in your consciousness and work through them with the mirror exercise. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.